This is an example of a RISE course that I'm using as a presentation tool instead of a course itself. So I'm using this in lieu of Google Slides or PowerPoint. In this RISE course, I've customized the labels to say begin class. I would have this screen on at the beginning of the Zoom, sharing my screen here and just letting the people coming into the meeting see this on the screen. So I'm showing what we're going to cover, where to go if they have any questions, an email address and then when I'm ready when we start the zoom we can just start recording or Microsoft Teams or whatever you're you're using and then I click begin class notice that I have my menu collapsed so as I'm sharing my screen if I wanted to jump around in here I could open up my menu but I leave it collapsed so that they're just focused on what is here on the screen one thing to keep in mind is that for the person on the call these aren't clickable links so something like connecting with me on LinkedIn they would have to manually type in that link there so maybe you could use a link shortener something like bit.ly so then these are continue buttons. I just have no text on them. So I do meet your host, click continue. And then we have a quick icebreaker lesson and this gets them engaged working with the Zoom chat or Q&A or whatever tool you might be using. So I give them these instructions. I'll ask a couple questions. Just look at the answers and send in the number of your answer. So if answer number one is pancakes here for example you just type one in the chat you don't have to type out the full thing of pancakes so here's our first thing if you can only pick one thing to eat for breakfast what would it be they would just send in their number in the chat that lets me know that folks are engaged we can move on to the next question and the next question and now we've done a little bit of an icebreaker with just these three sessions and the attendees have gotten into the motion of sending in something through the chat so sometimes it's hard to get people to start chatting in or feeling like they're comfortable sending something in so having these prompts is really nice to just get them feeling like it's okay for them to send content in the chat or questions or whatever it might be up next, we have an activity. So this could either be a breakout room or you could just have them working on something on their own. I give the instructions here at the beginning and I let them know that there's going to be a timer on the screen. So I've embedded this timer from a site called VClock and the attendees of the meeting will be doing their activity. And once they start, I can go ahead and start the timer and they see that timer on the screen. So if they're doing some kind of self-guided thing whatever it might be, when they're done, they can come back and they'll be able to see how much time is left for the activity. Again, a continue button, and then we're going to have a group discussion. Something that's really important to me when I'm facilitating a, whether it's a Zoom meeting or WebEx or something like that, is that it's not just me talking for the whole time. That's really no different than someone just reading content on the screen throughout an e-learning course. We wanna make it engaging and have them participate. So then we'll have something like a group discussion. And this is an embedded form from the website Jot Form. You can see it here. I'm going to be the one typing here. So again, this gets my attendees engaged. If I make this a little bit smaller again, we can see I use the same background image in my Jot Form as I did for the course cover image of the course and same accent color as my course accent color. But I have them go through and I just open it up for group discussion and I say, I'll type, you just tell me what you came up with for your activity or whatever it is they were working on and then I type in what they say here you could either do bulleted list numbered list so thing one thing two etc and then once we're done with question one maybe there's more than one question we can move on to the next question um, where again I'm typing in so there's not a way for them to type in on the screen unless I sent out the jot form link to everyone i just find this easier than i'm controlling uh, typing everything in in the answer so i have a couple questions here question two question three and then we can submit the form here so when we're done we would click submit and then i would get emailed to me all of the notes that i took on this jot form we do the same thing again so exact same thing activity timer uh, i just put it in here twice 
And then finally, for our last thing, we have some homework or follow up. So that's it. We'll send out a link to the recording along with this course as a leave behind. So then they can always go back and, and access what they had. I can edit the course and maybe put the answers to the job form in there. And then I give them the next step. So everything is really self-contained within this RISE course. And if I have things that I want to add into it, maybe as a result of a group discussion or a result of the activity, I can just throw that lesson in there before I send it out to the course attendees. So that's how I work with RISE as a presentation tool for virtual meetings.